I'm not here to talk about a, a, a crisis in the independent film industry. There's no crisis. Uh, there's a crisis in the country. There's a crisis in our economy. Um, but we, the independent filmmakers, we're not in crisis. You know, you know, as I'm sure will be said many times today, you know, the business is changing. But for us, the independent filmmakers, that's a really good thing. Um, you know, I've always looked at filmmaking as an incredible privilege. Uh, and we, we need to accept it as such, you know, and accept the, the full responsibility that, that comes with it. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. You know, that, that proclamation that we hear a lot these days that indie film, you know, that the indie film's demise is, you know, a little exaggerated, or whatever Mark Twain said, right? Grossly exaggerated. You know, how, I've always, you know, how can there be a, a, a death when really when we start to look at it, uh, I, I think uh, real indie, true indie film has yet to really be born and uh, or at least to really live. Um, you know, granted that we're now in the midst of a, you know, profound paradigm shift. Um, but what I see that shift is, is a coming of real true independence. That, that's, that's what's before us. Um, but make no mistake that, that that independence is being threatened today even before it's arrived. Um, and it really requires our action. Um, you know, are, are, are we going to fight for it? Are we going to shoulder the responsibility that comes with really being an independent filmmaker? That is, you know, and hopefully the answer will be yes when I'm done. You know, uh, you know are we going to band together you know, really work for what, what are our com communal needs. You know, are we ready to kind of abandon, you know, dreams of stardom and, you know, infinite wealth that often comes with, you know, making a first feature, a second feature, a tenth feature, a fiftieth feature. Can we leave all that, you know, behind us? 